Hello everyone, it's Black Gallerina here. The date is the 15th of October 2021 and today I am taking you with me on my trip to the Welcome Collection in London to see two of their current exhibitions, Joy and Tranquility. The Welcome Collection and Trust are the legacy of the pharmaceutical entrepreneur Henry Welcome, who lived between 1853 and 1936. Inside its London headquarters is a free museum and library filled with a vast collection of medical artefacts from around the world. In June 2021, The Welcome released a statement titled The Colonial Roots of Our Collections and Our Response, in which they addressed the institution's connections to colonialism and their plans to confront and heal the colonial harm that has been done. The statement said, Items in our collection have been separated from their original context. They have been used to tell a colonial version of the history of health and medicine that privileges European medical understanding over indigenous and other forms of local knowledge. This version of history uses racist theories and language to present a racist, sexist and ableist story of medicine. With this legacy consistently in mind, we continue to build the collections today, trying to find different ways to acknowledge the lived experiences of those who continue to be silenced, erased and ignored. While the Welcome Collection is an art and science museum and not a contemporary art gallery, it does commission contemporary artists. So I thought it would be interesting to review expressions which were hosted in a building that held space for historical and contemporary works. This day out was actually a social event which I helped arrange for the Paul Mellon Centre's doctoral research network. We met up with the curators of Joy and Tranquility for a tour of the two exhibitions. Being able to have a curator's tour was very helpful because I was able to find out more about the intentions of the curators and how members of the community and consultants contributed to the curatorial process. We split into two groups. The first exhibition that my group went to see was Tranquility, which was curated by Laurie Britton. Neuro. One of my favourite areas in the exhibition was the rainforest area. The artist was Christelle Labasse. The area had comfy seats and a rainforest soundscape, as well as the smell of wood in the air. The second exhibition we went to see was Joy, which was curated by George Bassey. Joy had a more of a traditional white cube feel in comparison to Tranquility downstairs, which was mostly in darkness. My favourite part was the yellow dancers on the wall. I believe this piece was by Harold Uffey. I was very impressed by the accessibility of the exhibition. The gallery guide included a complete set of gallery captions, which were available to read online and within the gallery in large print. They also had a digital guide for both exhibitions which featured 24 perspectives of medicine, science, religion and poetry and audio descriptions of the artworks. It was also available in BSL with complete transcripts. It is great to see accessible interpretation done in such high quality in a way that doesn't feel like a last minute add-on. I really liked how the curators discussed and visibly credited the other people who they had worked with as well as the artists. I highly recommend the exhibition so if you are in London make sure you book online so that you can pop by before it closes on the 9th of January 2022. I'll also put a link to both of the exhibitions in the description box um, plus information about the artists. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more in the future and please support my channel by clicking that like button and by subscribing. Take care and see you soon.